okay what is our next topic that is the components of ir so there are two component one is system and second one is your user so system having some processes like acquisition and representation so acquisition means what to collect the data from the different resources second one is your representation how to represent your data or how to store your data in a particular disk or in a particular storage or a, in a cloud third step is a file organization so there are a two kind of file first one is a sequential and second one is a inverted file so sequential file means what that contains the whole document and inverted uh, file means what that contains the terms or a, a single word so these are the two files in which we can store some data first one is a sequential and second one is a yeah, inverted next one is what is the part of next part is query 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 means what if you want to search uh, any kind of data then we can uh, pass out some keywords or the phrases so that is nothing but the query so uh, what is the process of that query your ir system starts when user enter a query that query in a format of some keywords or some phrases then your system accept that query process that query according user query will get the response and that response is display on your browser so this is the main intention of your query next topic is your user now this is the part of your component your first component is a system and second one is a user now how user can interact with your information system so uh, there is a one uh, concept or there is a one core concept we need the database or we need the storage from that we can retrieve the data or we can store the data so what is the role of your user to just retrieve the data via your different browser or via different a server will get the that data so this user is connected to retrieval uh, system and this user is connected to browser and this user is connected to database so there are a three entity retrieval system then your browser and then your database so user is connected with this three things so what is the user task firstly user want to translate their query means uh, if, if you want to uh, find out the data about the fan then we just find out the data just like uh, information about the fan so this is the user language so we have to translate it that language into the binary format so that is the first process of your user task you have to translate the data into the appropriate format so this is done by your system then that query is translated into the other format other format means what just match that data with your databases if your data is found in databases or the storage then we'll get the data so uh, your result uh, should be display in the form of the browser content we'll get the textual data we'll get the audio data we'll get the uh, video data so this is about your user task next one is your logical view of the document logical view how how we can view our document so with the help of indexing technique so indexing technique means what suppose we have a one document that two document is stored in a index number 0 or we have another document that is a one so we can store in a index number one so indexing technique is very important technique for storing your data or for storing your audio or the video so if we want to create my own ir system then we have to take care about the storing like which kind of technique we are going to use like indexing technique we are using or the boolean model is used or any other model we are going to use so this is the very important uh, to display or to define your logical view of the document that's it